Today I will be making spicy miso ramen with aji tamago and pork. So to start off, I'm going to make aji tamago or ramen eggs. So obviously it starts with making some nice cooked eggs. So setting a timer for six minutes. So while that's going, I'm going to prepare the marinade. Got a quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of mirin, a quarter cup of sake. And to finish up the marinade, one teaspoon of sugar. I don't have regular sugar, I only have brown sugar, so sounds good. Now we quench it in an ice bath, and hopefully the timing is right. Now attempt to peel it and see. Give it a quick cut in half, see how I did. Should be slightly runny, or maybe uh, it feels way too runny. Ooh, that's really nice. Like slightly runny. Very nice. Means they're going to be way better to the sauce. So you take your one good egg and you put a nice paper towel over it. You can also put it in a plastic bag, but paper towel and container works well. This is going to go in the fridge until tomorrow. So for this, I'll be making dashi from scratch. So one liter of water with 10 grams of kombu, heat it up to 80 degrees Celsius or about 160 Fahrenheit on low heat. So we're gonna go let this go for a while until it gets up the heat. And after that, we'll continue. So now we take out the kombu. Make sure not to let it boil. So now we're gonna let this go to a boil and then add the bonito flakes. We're gonna be adding 20 grams of bonito flakes so now that's boiling, I'm gonna turn it off and add the bonito flakes. They look very light and fluffy, but you do not touch them after you put them in. And 20 grams looks like a lot. And volume wise, it is. So much. Turn it off and let it sit for five minutes. Now that this is done, I'm going to filter it out. So to start the final steps, I'm going to cook up some pork. I'm using 90% lean ground pork. So I'm gonna also start heating up the water for the ramen noodles. You can also add stuff like mushrooms. I'm gonna add some salt because you always add salt any chance you get. Oops, my salt has been open the whole time. Salt the taste or whatever. Or more. While that's going, I'm gonna prepare an onion. You can also use shallots. That's fine.
It's also recommended to use ginger, fresh grated ginger, but I couldn't find any ginger, so no ginger for me. Then when it's getting close to your desired level of doneness, we're going to throw in the onions for a little bit. Put them to whatever size you like. Going to let this cook for about one to two minutes. Fine. If there's some stuff stick to the bottom, it'll get de deglazed in a bit. Once the onions are nicely softened, we're going to add one teaspoon of sugar and only a brown sugar while it clumped up. It's fine. It'll spread out in a bit. One teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Half a teaspoon of ground white pepper. You can use doubanjang, but I only have chili oil, so I'm going to go with two teaspoons of ch chili oil, one tablespoon of mirin, and from that dashi we made earlier, it's going to be one and a half cups of dashi. That should deglaze it a bit. Oh yeah, very nice. And finally, one quart of chicken stock. Then we're going to bring that up to a boil. And while that's waiting, we're going to cook the noodles. So now, now that our noodle water is boiling, going to uh, put the noodles in there. Now that it's boiling, we're going to let it sit for four minutes. Now that the noodles are done, we're going to, oh wait, I'll just strain them. To that, we're going to add three and a half tablespoons of miso. And with that, our broth is complete. Now time to combine it all together. To the bowl, uh, the noodles. That's a lot of noodles. Oop. Then we'll add the broth. You can also reduce the amount of ingredients you have to make it more reasonable. It's way better for the ingredients than it is for actual soup. Add as much of the broth as you want. Add the ajitamago. And 
and add a few strips of nori. No, oh, look at Phil. Now we can enjoy. So, time to give it a taste. Piece of shit, I can't. Mmm. It's really good. Gonna give the egg a try real quick. Really good. Anyway, until next time, uh, bye. Oh. I think I broke that one. No, I broke this one. Whoop.